That's why. Yeah. Whenever you me say to them what they want to hear yeah. from you. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so Victoria. Yes. Shall you tell them where to go? Oh, with sorry. The of course, all that bit. Yeah, so this is bit. episode <laughs> seven seventy two. <laughs> your questions answered live. Go to freenever.com. Join us in manifestingmasterycourse.com. Where's the camera? Where am I looking? Right, right there. there. And for refunds, go to feelitrealfun.com. That is the rightness, everyone. So. Okay. Okay. So, Victoria, read a question number one. This is going to be great. Okay, read a question number one is from Adam. How do you know... Hello. Do you know of or recommend an accredited law of attraction coach certification? Or one based on level teachings? Oh, my God. No. So, here's the deal, guys. Ready? Yes. Why would you want... I'm an sorry. Accredited. An accredited law of attraction code certification one based on Neville's teachings. Yes. If you aren't nailing this, you have no fucking business teaching it. Let's just be blunt, right? You know, it, why take a course on how to teach? You know, in other mm. words, you're, you'd be an accredited parrot. <laughs> Heidi yeah. sent us a parrot video, didn't she? Yes, <laughs> I just watched it. Good Lord. <laughs> why would you want to be an accredited parrot? I want you... See, you notice what Neville didn't do? Neville didn't sit around and say, the first lesson Ab taught me was this. The second lesson was this. Another lesson that Ab said was this. He mentioned Ab two or three times, right? That was yeah. it. <laughs> so, here's the deal. An accredited law of attraction coach thing, I'm going to make fun of that because what the world needs is you. They don't need a parrot with a diploma. By the way, guess who has no diplomas? I got a high school one. I got one from the police academy, right? Uh, I didn't ever complete anything else. Well, I've got some certifications through trainings, NLP things, and so on and so forth. But I don't have a college diploma, right? I make more money than most doctors I know. And how do I do it? I share me. I share that I eat meat, that I chase her around the house. I share what we live and how this works <laughs> for us. Yeah. You, want, you want to crush it, you crush it, and then you share you. Forget yeah. the paper, right? Paper means nothing, especially in today's world. Right, you can get uh, mm. that one attorney we saw on television last night had a degree so. <laughs> from the University of American Samoa, I believe. Oh, American Samoa? Oh, yeah. So, <laughs> Wait, is forget it all Seoul? that. No, Seoul. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Okay. That's right. <laughs> Seoul. All right. Cool. So, skip the diploma, focus on you, actually crush this. Uh, I'll give a crass commercial. Uh, get on the daily emails list. If you're not, join us at manifestingmasterycourse.com. Learn how to crush your own life. And then uh, people will want to learn because you're crushing it. Do that. Okay, next. How was that? That was ice. By the way, I'm not saying you're not crushing it. I don't know who you are. I'm just saying when you crush it to the point where you feel that it doesn't matter, that I'm a certified and accredited law of attraction coach from the Law of Attraction Coast Institute of Texacarna. Right? Yeah, right. <laughs> Read a question number two. Number two. Is Donna. What is the best way to revise current and past debts? Although I have ha I have been have handling my finances, I still have the vibration vibration of scarcity. Ooh, I like the way that sounds. And I do not have enough or will never get out of debt or have debt or receive prosperity. Be prosperous. Oh my god. Wow. Lots of money words in there. Uh, yeah. Revise yesterday. I'm going to assume that you went to buy peanut butter yesterday, or pancakes, oh. or Pop-Tarts, <laughs> pickles. It all right? starts with P. Hi, yeah. Bruce. So, p -p 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 popcorn. So mm. if you went to buy pickles, popcorn, anything yesterday, and see, this is what I notice with people that are focused on debt. They pick up the popcorn they want, and they go, oh, if yeah. I buy that, I won't have 17 more cents to put on the debt. Right? Mm -hmm. And so they'll sit it down and they'll buy the popcorn they don't like, the one that only pops 50% of the kernels, and then they'll chip a fucking tooth because they make the popcorn that sucks, and they'll chip a tooth <laughs> and they'll go to the dentist, and then the dentist will say, well, that's $400 to get your tooth fixed. Well, how are you going to pay oh, for it? Well, let me put it on my Visa card, popcorn. right? I'll Visa. put it on my Visa card. And the Visa card goes up another 500 bucks, takes you over to the limit, they charge you another $47 penalty fee, up your interest rate, and all of a sudden you've got what, Victoria? More debt. Right. On the other hand, mm. if you revise yesterday, hey Sandy, 
and if you were if you were shopping for popcorn pickles pizza something like that and instead of making that bad decision what if you just went to yesterday and imagined right that shopping trip where I held my breath the whole time and raised my blood pressure and like talked more rapidly and passed out and then the ambulance came and I had to pay the fee to them went into more debt yeah. instead of all that kind of stuff because you can notice that's how it happens it's called a cascading series of events uh, what if you just reimagined yesterday and you didn't have that concern about debt what if you revised yesterday and you didn't have debt just do it just do it for fun and I know someone will say well but what happens when the yeah do it and then tell me right play first okay swing the bat have some fun revise yesterday right or the last time you went shopping or something like that next time you go shopping if you find yourself again buying the cheap popcorn and all that stuff chip your tooth going to the dentist all that stuff five hundred dollars <laughs> in the debt uh revise that okay get it gotcha. just revise an incident yeah turn, turn it into an event that you can celebrate dj in manifesting mastery asks number one can we stop and choose the meaning we attach to something to kind of rig the meaning to our favor Right. I go Let's red stick with flags. That. Okay. Okay. Yes. Yeah. You know what my friends at the dog park say? You always spin everything in your favor. Victoria. Right. True. Yeah. Yes. Why not? When I don't, it's hell. Right. But seriously, it's like, yep. Price. price like, I don't care. You just notice what you're imagining. Stop imagining crap and, and imagine. Like, remember the girls giggled. Number one, manifesting mastery. There's a reason why Victoria made me sneak it in there. Right. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know it was coming. Oh, she never saw it coming, <laughs> lesson one. Yeah. Right? Because you know, you're always imagining meaning all day long. You never react to the girls giggling. You always react to what you're imagining. When the girls giggle, when I look at her and she giggles, I don't go, she's going, <laughs> right? I go, she's, <laughs> right? I don't. <laughs> right? And it's like, damn, he, he's still coming, yeah. right? <laughs> Hmm, right? <laughs> and no matter what, I revise it in my favor. I notice, what am I imagining? Instead of imagining, uh, right? I imagine uh, the toilet water spins the other way in Australia. Yeah. But two, <laughs> what should we do in terms of addressing gut feelings? Do we ignore them? Do we stop and attach a different meaning to it? Should we still go with it? God, isn't that a goodie? Because, like, mm. uh, I've had gut feelings save my life, and I've had gut feelings get me in trouble. And here's the thing, where are they coming from? My suggestion would be just, uh, if you go to freenevel.com and you look, look up an article called Do Something or Do Nothing, uh, there's two versions of it. The one version of it talks about, it gives the quote where Neville, hey Leah, uh, mentions that all your behaviors and everything, everything you do and everything that befalls you comes from your state. So if I'm actually in state and I've got a, a, a uh, gut feeling leave the dog park, I leave the dog park. But if I'm not in state and I feel leave the dog park, I'm going, wow, what state is giving me that feeling, right? So if you're in state of loving puppy dead, you loving mean? Puppy, yeah, loving puppy dead. If yeah, you're in husband. that state and you get the feeling of leave the dog park, then you leave. Yep. But if you're not, oh, okay, got you. If you catch that you're <laughs> not in loving puppy dog and you get that, then... Yes. Got you. That One day was I was actually at the dog park and like I just like got, oh, time to leave. So I strapped up Bruce and Emmett and walked out the thing. And like two minutes later, there's like four dogs and four humans all going at each other. It's like, wow, this ah. would make a great YouTube video. Yeah. Right? I didn't have anything in the car to go shoot it, but it would have been a great YouTube video. I mean, like, yeah, you know, who's worth the puppies of the people, right? So, yeah. Meanwhile, we drive away. <laughs> <laughs> Very cool. <laughs> all right. So. Okay. The feelings that you get are going to come from your state. Notice the state you're in. You'll notice where the feelings are coming from. Uh, Ready question four. Oh my god! Wow, it's quite it's a broken long into one. two parts. Go for it. Okay, so I can I can let go of details very easily with regard to all desires except one. Anybody want to guess what it is? This is always the good one. Cool. I absolutely want a good relationship with the man I love and who says he loves me. All right. By the way, is that decent? Right. Yep. Go mm. ahead. <laughs> I think it is. <laughs> It's hard enough to forget about the how, but I cannot seem to let go of the what and the who. It seems more and more impossible, but somehow I don't want to accept impossible. Do you think I should? I never settle, always soar. Next, Victoria. P.S. Oh, <laughs> I P.S. I know, 20, that you always say 
that it's all about state and that we should make it about us. But let's say I want to have a perfect husband and I go about that by living from the state of loving wife. How do I know that my husband will be loving too if I'm a loving wife? I'm sorry if this question is stupid. It's not stupid. Oh my God, this it's is, a nice is, question. This is as not stupid <laughs> as a question gets. Yep. <laughs> this is not stupid as <laughs> yeah. a question gets. Yeah, this is as not stupid <laughs> as a question gets, right? So watch this. Ready? Loving husband. Mm -hmm. Let's add one little more quality into me. Loving, happy husband. Hmm. Loving, hu loving, happy husband, right? Mm -hmm. Guess what? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I'd I be happy, right? You'd be happy. Right? Watch this. Loving, loving, miserable husband. Oh, oh baby. <laughs> <laughs> loving, really not sure <laughs> husband. Right? <laughs> right. right. So... Here's the thing, if you if you go right, yeah, so I can be loving, but loving can be a sacrifice or something like that. I was raised Catholic, and in the Catholic school, you know, love was always a sacrifice. You toughed it out, you did that stuff, you stayed married, so the church got all the money, not the divorce attorney, and uh, so on and so forth. But meanwhile, back at the French, what if you just imagine, you know what, loving, happy husband. That's me. You could imagine loving, happy wife, what? since you're a girly yeah. bit. Girly bit. Yeah, it was it is a girly bit. Girly bit. So since you got it since you got a girly bit and you can imagine loving happy wife, yeah, of course you're gonna be happy, right? You're not gonna be happy if he's a jerk, right? So you don't can imagine anything about him. Yeah, loving happy husband, right? And then somehow it, it will be a yeah, loving happy husband. So as far as her like um it's hard enough to get but she cannot give up the who then it's got nothing to do with the who just keep going back to loving happy loving happy wife yep okay cool and and yeah you love him he says you know he loves you let's assume that's the case mm. cool right mm. it gets all that pressure out of the way versus like right i'm loving but i want him to have these 17 qualities <laughs> and one of them includes picking up his undies by 7 31 in the morning the minute he doesn't yeah out comes the shank <laughs> right? not cool guys <laughs> so yeah, Victoria's worth a shank and a shiv. You know where my Andes are at 7.31 in the morning? <laughs> where? <laughs> Pretty much wherever I left them. Yeah, true. <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I don't wear Andes. We can't no, you don't. say that on the show. Well, yeah. Yeah. You wear bathers. Yeah, yeah I wear bathers. <laughs> okay. All right. All right. Jo, All jo, right. Jo, jo, well, jo, 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 maybe no one's jo, got a question. Jo, 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 jo. Anybody know what that uh, music is? Jo, 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 Look jo, 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 Yep. Everybody type something, even if you just type best bit. In fact, I'm not going to do the gun. That's suitable for you. I'm just going to go like that. Well, go to freenever.com, join us in manifestingmasterycourse.com, and for refunds, go to feelitrealfun.com. Okay. Wow. That's it for today. All right. Episode 772. 772, if Victoria's right. Hopefully.